50 50. So, so I'm going to show okay. you where Mohammed is a slave trader. A slave trader? Yes. So let's talk about. Would you condemn a slave trader? He believes the law should be secular. Yes. 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 He believes law should be, law should be secular. secular. So he's choosing a Western Christian concept over an Islamic one. So he took his own Quran away. So if my children, so in in that time, we're not talking about that time. We're talking about the Quran is applicable today. Okay, as a Muslim, so you would follow with what the Quran says. Right, and so the Quran says that. There you go. Because he's going to find a woman and start a family and it's incumbent upon him as a man to support that family. Right. Yes, I believe that. I, my daughter would get less yeah. because in the hopes she would find a man yeah. and start a family with him. And what if she didn't? What if she didn't? Then she would go into business for herself or get an education. Do you not see the injustice in your own logic? I don't think it's unjust. I think that it's a workable way. We have laws that a lot of people think are unjust. Well, it's in the Quran. Oh, no, I, I agree. I can't change it. And, I'm not and, and, argue with you about changing and, 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 Well, I know. I, I, I agree. I would encourage you. So what do you, we do? You want to throw away the Quran? Yes, absolutely. You want to throw away the Quran? We absolutely should throw away the you the want to tell me and the Bible as well, or just the Quran? No, no, just the Quran. So you want to tell me my faith is is invalid? Yes, your and, faith and my, is invalid. And my struggle and my journey and my faith is invalid. Yes. You are incorrect. Right. So now let me explain why. I don't want you to explain do you, why. Do you believe that we're equal in dignity? I believe that I would have. I believe, but because of my faith and because I follow God, I have to treat you in a dignified manner. Right. In Thank a personal you. aspect, you, but, but, I would not normally do that. That was a great answer to a different question. Okay. My question was. Do you believe that we are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe your children are equal in dignity? Yes. Do you believe, therefore, that people, that laws based upon the fact of equal dignity should treat people equally, i.e. they should be equal under the law? So you're talking about secular law or religious law? Well, I'm talking, talking about, about I'm what? Or so, you talking about laws coming so, from so, the so I'm comparing laws that have been influenced by a Christian heritage mm -hmm to laws that are influenced by Islamic heritage. And I am laws saying and I'm saying that laws that are slavery laws brought, I'm sorry, brought, sorry, uh, Islam brought them? slavery. Do you know that? Okay, okay you're gonna tell me that are all you saying Muslims sold slavery. Muhammad was a slave slaves. trader. Muhammad was a slave trader. He was. Well, did, uh, can you he tell sold, me where, where sold, is that written? No, I'm gonna come I'm gonna come and debate you later. I'm gonna come and debate you later. Can I can so, I call a friend this is can like we, can we pull up the hadith where Muhammad trades in slaves? Fifty fifty? So so I'm gonna show you where Muhammad is a slave. Trader. A slave trader. Yes. So let's talk about. Would you condemn a slave trader? In these days, I would condemn. But you wouldn't trader. condemn Muhammad. I will not condemn Muhammad. Is Muhammad an example to you today? Yes, he is. So should you follow Muhammad's example? I will not follow that example. You will not follow that example. I, I'm not a slave trader. And that's because you're a better man than Muhammad. No, no, you. No, I'm you're not a, a better you man. You clearly are. Peace be upon him. He's my teacher. You clearly are. I'm going to debate there's, there's you later. Yeah, there are slaves in the Bible. Go look on. what Lot's daughter right, did so to let's, him. Right, so let's look at Jesus. He's my example. Okay. He lived at a time. He's a wonderful he, prophet. I yeah, exactly. A did he prophet. own slaves? Did he know, no, he did not own slaves. No, he did not okay. own slaves. Now, who is better? One who owns a slave or one who doesn't own slaves? Did he come down slave? Who is better? Exactly. Who is better? One who owns slaves or one who does not own slaves? I look at them both the same. So you, I you Jesus, think? I look at Jesus and Muhammad on the same level. Okay. Okay. Now I want to I want to show you that I'm not making it up about your prophet being a slave trader. Right? I am a slave to so, God. Jesus so, said, look, let's just admit just in the Bible. Just in the Bible. Yeah. Let, let's focus because Obey these guys are just going to be interrupting go continuously. Yeah, go no, but just, I will come and debate you, both you, of them you in have a second. A right? In so, this, so, there came, so there came so a, slave a slave and pledged allegiance to Allah's apostle. On migration, he did not know that he was a slave. Then there came his master and demanded him back. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, Sell him to me. And he bought him for two black slaves. 
and he did not afterwards take allegiance from anyone until he had asked him whether he was a slave. So Muhammad was a slave where is, trader. Where is this in the Can we pull up the one where, he, where, where we sell Bible, women and children for weapons and, and products? In the Bible. So, can we, can we just put that so, so hold on one second. Show me where, that's hold on one second. Was that in the Quran? Right, right, you come to Speaker's Corner. I asked you a question. What's that in the Quran? No, that was a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, thank you. So you want it from the Quran. But so do you do you do you not believe in the hadiths? Am I I'm a Muslim. Do you believe in the hadiths? I believe in some of the hadiths. There's some what about the some, Sahih hadiths? Some hadiths are. What about are Sahih valid. hadiths? I've not, not heard the term Sahih hadiths. Sahih means reliable, trustworthy. Do you believe in those? It depends on who, who says that. What about Sahih al Bukhari? Be what about Bukhari? Yeah. Bukhari's no collection. Let's, 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 do you let's, let's, that let's, go. let's get yeah. to where you're Stop going. Wait, wait, what about that Muslim? What about okay. Sahih Muslim and Sahih al Bukhari? I don't yeah. know what you're talking about, right. so I'm going to prove ignorance. Okay. So you have, That's you, fine. You're, 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 you're talking to me, yep. you have a predetermined outcome because you have a belief. Yeah. Bring it to me. Okay, I already know what I believe. I don't have a predetermined outcome. I know I believe in God. Okay. I believe in yep. the Prophet Muhammad, yep. peace be upon yep. him. And I believe, yep. I believe that your journey in Christianity is just as valid in my journey in Islam. Yep. What you said earlier, you talked about me being better than Muhammad. That's not true. No, it is. But no, it but, is objectively true you right that you now, are I'm better going than to Muhammad. I'm telling you right now, man to man, to your face, is that it doesn't own a slave. Is is that my journey and my my faith <laughs> is better than yours because mine is not you predetermined. Yeah, yours is predetermined. I come no, here to you learn. You come here to yeah, preach to people to and talk that. about how people are bad, about how my prophet is bad. Your prophet was bad. He was objectively bad. I said. That it's your religion you is just as valid as mine, but you have said you have said you have said you should you should yes absolutely. You should, you should, yes, absolutely. So, and, 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 and that's fine. You're entitled because, to disagree. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're entitled to disagree. You say that, you're entitled to disagree. Because you say that, and because you have that that attitude yep. and that opinion, yep. you've lost all validity to me. I that can't. I'm not, I'm the, not going the, to have a discussion with you based on if you can't do what Muhammad permits you to do then because your conscience is saying that it would be wrong to do so. And I think you're a, a person of good conscience. I'm not going to no, sir, sir. Well, I, I listen, I listen, I listen, I listen. I listen. So in terms of, in no, 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 I'm going I'm gonna, to I'm gonna continue the conversation. I'm speaking to you about something. So the thing is, no, so now notice the rudeness and notice how, yes, you are, you're being rude right now because I'm talking to you. You're talking You're talking I'm talking, I'm talking to you. No, no, hold on one second. No, no, you hold on, you hold on. No, hold on one second. First of all, you're pointing at me. Secondly, Why are you trying to be intimidated? Secondly, are you I'm trying not, to be are you intimidated? Are you trying to no, be intimidated? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be Are you trying, trying to be intimidated? Don't, don't point at me. You're, you're, you're trying to be intimidated. I am not trying to be intimidated. I'm not intimidated. I'm not trying to intimidate you. No, you said that I should go away from my Quran. You begged for one minute. You should. You said that my Quran is down. You should. And the reason why you should throw away is because your religion denigrates human beings. It denigrates your daughter compared to your son. It denigrates women according to men, it denigrates the slave according to the free, it denigrates the Arab to everybody else, it denigrates, it denigrates Christians to the Muslims, it denigrates the Jews to the Muslims, and it denigrates pagans compared to everyone else. There you go, you've just denigrated humanity. Thank you very much. Pagans practice shirts. So you denigrate them. I don't believe in pagans. No, I know you don't believe in it, but would you denigrate them in your yeah, there you go. So there you go. So we started the conversation. Right, so so he you would denigrate him. He's a seat. Would you denigrate him? Would you denigrate him in law? Answer the question. I'll come and debate you in a second. No, no, no. Would you denigrate him in law? He is someone that in your religion is considered a pagan. Would you denigrate him in law? I believe the law should be secular. In government, he believes law should be secular. Yeah. So he's choosing no, 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 no. a Western no, no, no. Christian no, no, no. concept no, no, no. over an Islamic no, 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 no. one. So he's chucked his own Quran away. You just chucked your own Quran away. Ask them. Ask them. Do you believe the law should be secular? 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 No. There you go. So he throws away his own Quran because he says he believes that the law should be secular, and that isn't an Islamic concept. Let's do a quick census. Muslims, son, do you believe that law should be secular? I'm asking you. He's running away. Every Muslim, put your hand up if you think law should be secular. 
Jesus. Speak to Jesus, teacher. One Muslim. All the other Muslims do not. So you're the one that's thrown your Quran away. You've just thrown it away. Should laws be secular? Should be laws be secular? Wait, 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 yeah, wait. I, want I want to answer him. I want to answer him. According to Jesus in the Bible teaching, you cannot live by man-made law, but only God law. Agreed. So, uh, so what are you saying now? So, I'm asking, now answer my question. Do you believe that law should be secular? What is secular according to you? Secular. Secular means that they are governed by a non-religious authority. Are they made by man? Um, yes. Yes. I can't teach Jesus teacher, I just tell you. No, no, answer my question no, to no. you. Do you, you believe, believe, believe that law should be secular? I can't just teach you. Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, you can appeal to whatever. There you go. So he disagrees with you. You've just appealed it for secular law, and your Muslim brothers no, 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 won't no, no, back no, no, you up. No, 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 They're not backing you up. So you have just thrown your Quran under the bus. And that's why I'm saying you should chuck it away. So let's have a calm conversation. So what I say in my philosophy you don't believe is, yes. the right to make laws. is he just said so. Is, I'll finish what I'm saying. The law of the, the land, law. the, the law. law from the government should be secular and treat yep. everybody everybody equally. That's the law from the my government. Mate. How I conduct myself amongst my brothers, yep. I practice Sharia. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If yeah. you steal from me, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. You insult my wife, yeah. we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. Okay, you come at me the wrong way, we're going to have a problem. You yeah. murder, you murder somebody in my family, yeah. we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. The other law, the secular law, under under Islam, as Muslims, we have to follow the law of the land. Yeah. Exactly. So you believe in man-made laws? Pardon me? You believe in man-made laws? Those are the laws of the land. I don't have to believe them. Yeah. See, you again, you've so, come so, with, you've so come with so the I'm asking you, you said you believe you laws should be... What happened about raising out? your voice doesn't make it right? Why are we raising our voice? Because I'm trying to Calm get down. a gun across yeah. and you're not... And you keep yeah. cutting me off. You've come, with the pre man, you've come with yeah. a predetermined outcome. You, Do you, you know what my predetermined outcome is? Manolo, I know that we're going towards it. What, what, what is it? I've seen you here before. What is it? You're a Christian man. What, what is the essence of my critique? Let's focus on the point. Can you even am, am do you even understand the focus of my critique? Your, your essence of your critique is anti-Islam. No. Yeah. yeah you yeah. told no. me. You, first of all, you told me my faith was not right. Correct. My journey, not... my journey was false. Yes. And that I should throw my Quran away. You should. Based on all three of those and things. And he came to you. Yeah. Ba based on all three of those things, I don't have time. And frankly, I don't know about and yet, what you've and got yet, to and say. Yet you may. Oh, and there you go. And there you go. So, so, so the, let me actually tell you what my the essence of my critique what, is. What is the essence of your critique? Get okay. to your point. I, I'm trying to. Go ahead. But, you know, we got a lot of interrupters here. I'm here. So, the essence of my critique is, this is the reason why you should chuck your Quran away. Why, Bob? Because innately within your nature, you believe that you should treat people equal, with equal dignity. Yes, I should. I there will. There you go. And I will. Thank you. And you are a better man than Islam. Because no, in Sharia no. law, human beings are not treated with equal dignity in the law. A Christian is actually calculated to be worth less than a Muslim in, yeah. in blood money. In blood money. Is that true? Is that true? Am I lying about your religion in there? Is that yes? I'm talking, talking about blood money. I'm talking about blood money. The payment for unlawful killing. I'm literally telling you. I'm literally telling you. I'm literally telling you. That, that the idea of compensation for when someone is killed accidentally and unlawfully, the laws apply differently for Christians and Muslims. Okay, and it should. There you go. It should. Now, you don't I agree with him. Same thing the Bible. Same you the Bible. don't agree with Same him. Thing the Bible. He's committed you know, to the injustices of Islam, but you, you are not. You and Genesis? that is why you are a better well, man than your religion. So, can so, can so address that. Please, stay to the point. I've got your point. Please, yeah, you've got my point. How would you like to reply to that? I don't. I don't. I don't give you any validity because of the three things that you said that insulted me. Yeah. So, I don't hold you. You're moving for any value. What about the Quran? What is he saying? The Quran's opinion? What about what scholars from Azhar University? Oh, this belief coming from the I don't care about what you're saying. saying, you're saying, saying it. It. What about Azhar University? Saying, what about himself? About himself? So, about I'm going to show you a quote about from a Muslim about scholar about that because demonstrates the, the kind of inequality that I'm talking about. I'm not interested. But well, I'm going to read it. Well, you read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. Yeah, I'm going to read it. And I and I think it's it's really sad that your emotions are prickled to cloud your intellect. It's really sad. That's a quote. And yet here you are. And yet here you are. So, let, let me just show you. So, if equality, go to the temple and scratch the name.
In Islam, the Jews, the Christians, they live side by side. And they live. And they live. And they live. But they have people in Islam. They have people. They're not his children. They're not his children. You can ask my question. Who's temple? It doesn't matter. Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Jesus' temple? Is that Okay. He's so, so this is an example from Sahih al-Bukhari about slaves. Okay. Just a, another example of your slave trading prophet. That you're better than. I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. Point at me. I really, man to man. Yeah. I'm going to say it one last yeah. time. Yeah. Please do not point at me when you speak to me. Okay. Fine. Okay? So, Thank so you. in terms, sure in terms, that. in terms of, in terms of Sahih al-Bukhari. Listen to what he says. Narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Kudri. That while he was sitting with Allah's Apostle, he said, Oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty. Uh, are you suddenly a Quranist? Of course you're not a Quranist. You say that for the camera, but you believe in these hadiths when the camera's not on you. And then when the camera's on you, suddenly, oh, well, it's the hadiths, it's not the Quran. So, listen, listen. Oh, open to interpretation. These are Sahih hadiths, my friend. Yeah, Sahih al Bukhari. We take captive of why? By Al Qadri. Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of beauty and we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interrupters? Now you're an intellect, intelligent man, you know what coitus interrupters is. Thank you. It's not actually, but, but it sounds like rape. Coitus interruptus means to withdraw before the point of ejaculation. That's what coitus interruptus means. Yeah. The Prophet said, do you really do that? It is better for you not to do it no soul which Allah has destined to exist, but will surely come into existence. Now, do you agree what are you reading from? with sex a slavery? Paper, right. No, you got a paper right. right. No. So, Muhammad practiced sex slavery. Did that say you rape the slaves? Um, do you believe in sex slavery? I do not, absolutely. Right. Not. So Muhammad. Ask any, any Muslim here no. if they believe in sex do you know, slavery. Do you believe in? Do you believe in? So you're what is? So, so your end game is you to destroy what you're Islam, isn't it? Yeah, so that's what no, my, my end game is to promote Christianity. My end game is to promote Christianity. No, I'm not a Christian. What just is about slavery? I will not become a Christian. From the Bible, what just is about slavery? Right. So you're wasting your time. That's what he's doing. So, so I want to I want to read to you a Muslim scholar. So this is not a Christian scholar. It's not someone with an anti-Islam agenda. This is an Islamic scholar from Al Hazar University. And what he says is this: Dr. Abdul Latif Mushtahari of Azhar University. Listen to what he says. Islam does not prohibit yeah. slavery no, but retains it for two reasons the first is war in which the captive is either killed or enslaved provided provided that the war is not between Muslims is not acceptable to enslave violators or the offenders if they are Muslims only non-Muslims may be enslaved or killed the second reason is the sexual propagation of slaves. No, this is an Islamic scholar from Al Hazar University. So we've given you hadiths, we've given you scholars. Now let's give you Quran. Okay, let's give you Quran. Can you can you give someone a chance to speak? Yeah, yeah, I'll speak to him. I'll speak to him. Is that one way street? No, 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 no. You won't shake his face. I'm done. I'm done speaking with you. Okay. You find another victim. You can walk away anytime. 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 My point to you is. Can you read this one? My point to you is, bro. My point to you is, bro. My point to you is, bro. Is that your religion teaches the denigration of humanity? Some human beings should be treated better than other people. What color God comes? Right. And our law, our law, influenced by Christian. Christianity teaches equality under the law between men and women. It's a secular country. It, it was no, it was never a Christian country. It was a Christian society. All men are equal, but it's okay. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And and this was this was the contradiction within the American legal system. Can you read this one? Can you read this one? I ask you that you know more than I do. Yeah, can you read this one? Can you? I think you misunderstand my heart. I think I you misunderstand my heart. And you're entitled to do that, of course. He's shy, he's shy, he's shy from his book. Look, look what he's saying, look what he's saying. When Muslims come here, they talk about the Quran. When Christians come here, 
They talk about how shitty Islam is. Really. No, we don't talk about how shitty You don't know. Watch our channel. We put up loads of videos about Christianity. I'll be doing it today. You don't talk about. We do. We do. You see, that's a lie that Muslims tell themselves. It's a it's a lie Muslims tell themselves. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. I will be doing talks on Christianity today. Yes, here. Yeah, I, I will. I will. But first, I got to deal with these guys. Yeah. So, so my point is, my point is, bro, and 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 this is my final point because you want the end conversation to end, and so we, we should we shall end it. Okay. Yeah. My final point to you is this: that if you believe that human beings should be treated in law with equal dignity because they are of equal dignity. You yes. should abandon Prophet Islam Muhammad because it does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. It does exactly the opposite. Your conscience is better than your prophet. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Uncle, I'd, I'd like to debate you on something.